Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck, and today we're doing a lace wig install courtesy of Premium Lace Wig. I believe it's been a minute since I worked with this company, but I've definitely worked with them before. They have some awesome beauty, beautiful quality top of the line hair. This hair is absolutely gorgeous and it lasts. When I step back, this gives like, if you see me in public, this is me, like lace laid, parting laid and nice just beautiful beachy textured hair it's completely my vibe i'm headed out to pilates i have literally like 11 minutes to be there and it takes me like six or seven minutes to get there so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go i'm gonna jump into the tutorial it's gonna be a start to finish install where we're gonna be doing a um glueless install and we're gonna do no baby hair and you guys can see how beautiful and melted it melted it is so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video Okay, ladies, jumping right into it. This is the wig straight out of the box. This is 100% Brazilian virgin hair. She's 24 inches in length, water wave texture. She's 130% density, 13 by 6. That was a quick look at the inside construction of the cap. We're going to start off by buffing in a foundation to the inside of the cap before we even put her on. This is going to warm up the lace and make it pretty much tint the lace to our complexion here i am using the elastic band provided to secure the wig and then applying the wig this is the wig on and this again is a water wave textured wig it's pre-plugged to perfection the lace is beautiful it's 130 percent density but honestly it feels like more here i am just you know pretty much playing with the wig before we install and just seeing what we're working with as i mentioned she's pre-plugged beautifully so i wanted to show that off i'm not going to be doing any baby hair today but you can see how it looks and here is a close-up of the hair texture water wave happens to be one of my favorite textures especially as the weather warms up it's just literally so easy to just put it on and go you can literally like wash and condition your hair like once a week and add a little leave-in add a little styling product and then day to day it's very easy to just wake up and go um, and the hair looks beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the hair back and we're going to begin the process of cutting off the excess lace. You guys already know step one for me is to cut off all the excess lace around the ears. I did decide at the last minute to kind of open up the hairline a little bit more. Now the reason I did this is because um, I decided at this point that I was not going to do any baby hair and when I am showing off the full hairline I like for it to look a lot more like thin and sparse and almost you know kind of mimic what my hairline will look like as far as it just not being perfect um and then i'm going to go ahead and add this even product on top of the lace this is going to act as a um pretty much like a glue but it is glueless if that makes any sense it's similar to like an extra hold hairspray where it'll bond the wig down but it'll also lift and come off with just a little bit of water now i'm just combing the hair out because i did pluck the hair line um i did have to comb it out to get that extra hair that kind of like I pull from the hairline out it kind of gets locked into the rest of the hair so you kind of got to comb it out um, and then I wanted to also see what it will look like fluffed out and it's absolutely beautiful now today I did opt for a curved parting sometimes a curved parting will take a minute to get it perfectly c-shaped or whatever shape you would like but I do love the fact that I was able to get a deep side part with this one and you know it doesn't have to be too high up now I did go ahead and take a look at their website premium lace wig has the best options for you I believe this one became in lens from 10 inch to 30 inch and you can literally like a la carte and just kind of literally customize and pick exactly what you want from the origin of the hair to the length of the hair you can add a fake scalp if you would like um, I think there was at least about 10 different color options um, you can pick a small medium or large cap literally anything you can think of you can change the texture of it and literally have every texture option there also the cap um you can get mine is an hd 13 by 6 but if you want regular 13 by 6 13 by 4 t part um they have li literally all of the options you can think of now as i'm rambling i am going ahead and styling the ends of the hair while the rest of the lace dries i did use water to completely saturate it and then mousse to go ahead and make the curls pop you guys know i love to be generous with my mousse and then i love to go in with the dim and brush really to help them curls to really really pop and set 
I'm also going to do the opposite side off camera. And excuse me, I was talking to my husband. He had the kids at the pool. So I was there in spirit because I sat on FaceTime and watched the kids swim. They've been taking swimming lessons. And they're doing amazing. Now the hairline is pretty much dry and I love the way it looks. It was just a little bit too damp. I like it when it's dry and you know it's dry because it's almost kind of crunchy from that product. And so once it was completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and finish removing the excess lace. I love the way the hairline looks. As I mentioned, I wanted it to be kind of like imperfect and a little bit not bald but you know thin like my natural hair and then the fact that I tinted the lace beforehand definitely did its work to make this look absolutely beautiful not to mention this is a HD lace so we already were working with a good hand to begin with and I am using an eyebrow razor to cut the lace here is what the lace looks like against my complexion and this is without melting it or adding any product you guys can see the white cast it leaves when you cut the lace. I just add a little bit more of that product on top. And then I'm going to reset it with the melt belt um, while I finish working on um, my hair and my makeup and all of that. I do like to like um, use a little clean towel to make sure I get all that excess product up. Because you guys know if you have too much product on your hair and it dries, it just is like these little dry wet looking shiny spots in front of your lace it looks like dried up glue i hate that but this is what it looks like once it was done and i removed the um wig band the melt belt i went ahead and did my makeup off camera and i did buff a little bit of foundation powder into that hairline and so you'll see what that looks like next okay ladies i feel super barbie licious i <laughs> caved in i was trying not to get any coffee today took a break went to get my coffee Kind of went to Lululemon. Give me that little sip. So the hair has had many of plenty of plenty of time to dry. We went out into the elements. The girls or the kids, girls and the boy, went to the pool with my husband. So it's just been a time, but we are done with the look, and I love it. Now this is like signature Ashley, especially during the warm weather. Just any kind of textured hair where it's like slicked and laid where it needs to be, and then it's just fun and beachy. Um, everywhere else this is just the vibe I want to give all the time diamond diamond so yeah I really do love how this came out as we all know this one came from premium lace wigs this is their packaging I think it's been a few a little while maybe a few months since I've worked with this company maybe even a few years so I was super excited to collaborate once again of course the wig was in that little package there but then inside the wig or inside the box rather you also got a bunch of uh, goodies in this little baggie I got some, oh, I need these. So I needed some bobby pins last night and I didn't have any right here. So I'm happy they gave me some. Love a good mini pack of bobby pins. This needs to go right here. They gave me um, a nice long piece of elastic. These are also great to use. Like if you don't have a melt belt, it's great to use these as. So I'm happy they gave me a long one because you can put that around and tie it in the back. And there are also two of these pins, um, one fail, but baby the way this age and these bones work i'm not bending down but i got two of these nice little clips these are more fashionable opposed to like the alligator clips like these look like what you used to like style your hair these are more cute so if you want to like do something and pin your hair these are really nice and then also they gave me a pack of lashes super long um rat tail comb pair of or no a pair of wig caps and then just this like nice little book and it has like care instructions and all of that in there. As far as the hair goes, you guys seen it came super nice. I love a good wavy textured wig and this one definitely doesn't disappoint. The hairline and everything, the install was easy. <gasps> it is 718. I have Pilates in 10 minutes. So let me go ahead and put some concealer here. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I have Pilates literally in... 12 minutes and it's gonna take me six or seven minutes to get there <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna let you guys go be sure to check out premium lace wig direct link in the description box thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches